Hi, I'm Scotty. I service, repair and restore vintage and antique mechanical clocks. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. Now we're looking for a cutting brooch. The correct size to start reaming. Let's push out. We'll try this one. Yep, that's a correct one. Doesn't fall all the way through. So, take that out. Put it into a pin vise. Tighten it down. Then we can start broaching out the bush. Remember once again, we've got to be 90 degrees perpendicular to that plate all the time. So, so while you're broaching the bush, you move it round and check to make sure that it's always 90 degrees. Okay. Doesn't go in yet. All right. Next size up. Into the bin vise. We'll do some more cutting. Nice and slowly turning it round so we don't take too much off. Test the pivot again. Nope, not yet. Right. Next size brooch. Line it up. And start cutting very slowly. Mm, almost, not quite. Tiny little bit more. just fits in. It'll be a little bit tight but we'll wait till we put the top plate on and then we'll confirm that and we'll broach it out a tiny bit more. There. Top plate on. Put a screw into it to hold the plates together lightly. We're not tightening it down, it's just to hold the two plates together. Then position the pivot into the bush, it's very tight, and align the posts very, very tight. You'll notice over here, when I turn it round a bit, you might. You'll notice there's almost, well, there's no end play in that. That is the end of the arbor, and that's a pivot. There's still 
two mil of pivot sticking out so we've got to remove that amount of material so that that sits in there right undo the screw Move the top plate. Get our cutting brooch again. Lining it up at 90 degrees. We'll cut the hole a little bit wider. Put the top plate back on again. Screw the hold it together. Pivot into the bush. Still tight. Align the posts. I think this plate's a tiny little bit bent too. Doesn't help particularly. Still hasn't gone far enough through. You can see that there. A little bit more broaching. I think this brooch has almost reached its end. Let's see. Getting close. Keeping the brooch at 90 degrees. Try that one. Tighten the plates a bit. Those in there. Then that done. Just about there, but it needs a little bit more. This is a long drawn out process. You can't rush it. If you do, you're going to make the hole too big. You've got to start off again. So it's a matter of going very, very carefully when you're using a cutting brooch. Here's the last little bit. Try it again. Pivot in there. Thank you. Still a little bit tight. There's no end plane, it's still a bit tight. You can see it's not spinning. So back for a little bit more. What I'll do this time also. So I'll take a tiny little bit extra out of the bottom plate. Not very much, just a little bit. To ease that in slightly.
then up a size in brooches which I think is this one yep we'll have to be super careful now because this is a large brooch and they cut huge amounts of material very quickly so aligning it once again Need a few turns. See what we've got. Move it in. Come out down there. Right, we're just about there. We're getting closer. Here we go. And there's end play. You can see it moving backwards and forwards. Right. I'll do the fly. Then we'll come back. And do the last piece of the operation which is putting all the wheels in and checking to make sure that they all run properly together they run properly individually they need to run properly together as a train